This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology Student course. In this lesson, you'll learn how to generate random numbers on TI Inspire and use them to generate simulations and explore problems. Start a new document and insert a calculator application. Press the menu key, select Probability, followed by Random. We see that there are several options. Let's start with the first one, random number. Press enter and you've generated your first random number. If you want to generate another, just press enter again. If you want to generate six random numbers, just put a six in the command. Suppose you want to simulate the rolling of some dice. Let's have a look at the second item in the random menu. Integer. A regular dice contains an even distribution of the numbers 1 through to 6. So I'll enter 1, comma, 6 and press enter. And just like the previous command, if I want to generate some more, just keep pressing enter. Or if I want to generate 50 dice rolls, just place a 50 in the command. In the game of Monopoly, a player moves forward an amount equal to the sum of two dice. How far will a player move on average? We can explore this by simulating lots of dice rolls. I'll generate 100 dice rolls and store the result in D1 for dice 1. Now I'll simulate another 100 rolls and store the result in dice 2. To calculate the sum, simply add the two results together. Now we could calculate the mean or average of this sum. It's pretty close to 7. But in the game of Monopoly, if you get a double, you get to roll again. So I wonder how many doubles we rolled. We could compare each outcome one at a time, but that would take a while. Or we could use the count function on the calculator. That is, count if there is a difference of 0 between the two dice. The count if statement can be typed directly or access from the catalog. I'll press C to jump down a bit. Then scroll down. And we see the syntax calls for a list. We'll make that dice 1 minus dice 2. Then a criteria. If we rolled a double number, then the difference between the two dice would be 0. So our statement reads, count if the difference in the dice is zero. So out of our 100 dice rolls, we got 17 doubles. So that means 17 more dice rolls. And of course, some of those might be doubles, which means even more rolls. But roll three doubles in a row and you're off to jail. Other options in the random menu include normal and binomially distributed samples. Let's have a look at the second last item, random sample, to investigate another problem. A wonderful mathematician by the name of Dr. James Grime invented a set of dice with some unusual characteristics. We can use the sample command to help explore these unusual dice. First up, we have a red dice. It has the numbers 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 and 6. I'll store that as a list and call it red. He also has a blue dice with the numbers 2, 2, 2 and 5, 5, 5. I'll store that as blue. And finally a green one with the numbers 1, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. In a simple game, players roll their selected dice and the highest number wins. 
so we want to explore which dice is best. So let's create some samples of size 100. In the first game, we'll try red versus blue. I'll store the results for the red sample as RS for red sample. So my sample command has the syntax list, comma, and then how many samples we want to draw. There is another option where we can sample with and without replacements, but for this case, we're rolling a dice, we can roll any number as often as we like. We'll have the blue dice, which I'll call BS, and we'll sample blue dice, and we'll sample from the blue dice, again, 100 rolls. Now we need to compare them. I'll use the COUNTIF command again. If red wins, then RS minus BS will be greater than zero. The condition needs a question mark. So we have COUNTIF RS minus BS, comma, question mark is greater than zero. So in our sample, red won 59 out of the 100 times. So red seems to be a little bit better than blue. Now let's compare blue and green. looks like blue beats green. And since red beat blue and blue beat green, it would be reasonable to assume that red should beat green. Let's see. Hmm. Seems like green beats red. That's weird. I did say they're unusual dice. So, which dice is best? I'll leave that for you to explore. The last item in our random menu is seed. It turns out that random numbers are actually really hard for computers to create. The seed command provides an option for a little human intervention. I'll select random seed and enter a number. One, two, three, four. Now I'll generate four random numbers. If I press enter again, of course I'll get a different set of numbers. But I'm going to go back and use the seed command again and put exactly the same number in to seed my random numbers. Now let's have a look at our four random numbers. Oh, they're the same. So it's always good to start any simulation with the random seed value. Just make up any number. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. Thanks for watching.